All right, I've got a new item that I've been kind of searching around for and kind of looking online, looking for reviews and stuff, but uh, this is a cassette player that you can capture your old cassettes to uh, your computer using a program like Audacity um, to catch the audio file and turn it into an MP3. So that's what I was looking for was uh, something that uh, could do that and found one on eBay. I paid, I think, around 45 close to $50. I mean, they're not cheap and this is used, but came with a USB cable. This is a power adapter and it's got the uh, stereo left and right channel RCA cables that came with it. But, uh, yeah, this is the item here. It's a Grace digital audio uh, cassette player taped to USB 2 get it out of the box here and packaging so I'll get that out of the way but yeah this is this is the item it's got a counter reset on it already reset to zero cassette line in switch power button uh, the record level when uh, you're um, I guess for yeah because it's actually got a record level as well so you can actually record cassettes and then transfer them to um, the computer if you wanted to so it's a yeah it's actually got a little speaker there a uh, little mic speaker recording level indicator uh, tape normal and the CRO2 button so yeah that's normal and then the CRO2 and then the microphone on and off so yep set line in and yeah, let's see eject so there's the eject button and uh, yeah, I actually got one of my old cassettes. I used to record a uh, shock jock down in Charleston, South Carolina that uh, uh, did all sorts of funny skits and stuff in the morning and I'd make tapes that I would take out to sea when I was you know, in the Navy and uh, so I'd have something entertainment, entertaining to listen to. You know, I had my normal cassettes and all that I would record of music and you know, all that but uh, yeah, sometimes the, the shock jocks were, were just funny and I wanted to record uh, some of their um, <laughs> some of their skits that they would you know broadcast on the radio. So yeah, I'm going to test this out, see how it sounds, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, see how good it is. Yeah, well, I'm getting everything set up, just cutting the straps off, and to test out the connections, I'll show you the backside of this got the volume yep there's the where the AC plug goes the USB that you connect it to your computer to capture the uh, audio the volume which is probably yeah, it's already in the max position then the record input and play output so yeah I'd be using the uh, the play side so if you got other cassettes from a stereo I guess yeah it gives you that ability to um, connect it up there but uh, yeah, for the most part, I'll be playing, you know, playing cassettes, you know, using using that. I guess that'd be for uh, yeah, play output if you wanted to hook them up to external speakers. So yeah, it's multifunction as well. But yeah, main reason I got this was again for capturing the uh, audio to my computer. And yeah, I've got one more. I've got the plug I need to get. There we go. Yeah, the seller did a good job obviously packing these these things together yeah, let me plug this in and let's see I'll go right there okay yeah I know what it is I gotta hook this up to the computer and then I can play it through my speaker so yeah let me go ahead and get everything set up and uh, as you can tell the microphone's working it's picking up my voice as I'm speaking so that's good so you can actually record Make your own recordings if you have cassettes and uh, then transfer them to um, the computer via Audacity. Nice. Okay, so one of the many programs I have on my computer is Audacity. Go ahead and open this up, and there's my recording screen. Can't quite get it all on the camera here so let me get it set up better okay it's installing the software just connected up the recorder and uh, let it go ahead and do its thing there so 
Device is ready to use. All right. It's still installing device software. Yeah, search and Windows update. Got the composite device, the input device. Now it's looking for the audio controller. So, so it obtains the device driver. All right, all three are ready to use, so I'm set up. I'll go ahead and test this thing in Audacity to make sure that it's playing properly and uh, do a little recording. Okay, so I think I got everything set up here. I'm going to go ahead and press record. Now, you're probably not going to hear the audio, but it is recording, so let me push record here and play. And this way it's capturing the audio. I know there's a way to do the audio where you can hear it as it's recording, but I'll have to tinker with it some more. And we'll see. Now we'll push play. Yeah, I was going to call you this morning when I got to work and ask if you play your old song about I love your tatas and dedicate it to Pearl. Oh, Pearl. gosh, why not? Oh, oh, great. Oh, oh, you're a slime ball, too. Okay, thank you, Kathy. Hey, I really love your hooters. You've got some tremendous hooters. Your are awesome clumps, your hosties, dumps, your hats, and hooters things. You've got some German juggies, some big bodacious boobies. <laughs> They're massive buds of memories that make me want to sing. Oh, poo, poo. I love your jaws. Oh, okay, this Dr. turned out Mellon pretty good. Me. I love your big boob. I really love your hooters. Your huge, enormous hooters. I have to hold your hooters, ma'am. I love your hooters. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> that turned out pretty good. So now I've already captured it and I can convert it to an MP3 file. And that's going to be probably another video that I'll do. But yeah, I wanted to test this cassette player to make sure that it could, you know, play the uh, the audio cassette. And yeah, like I said, these some of these cassettes are over 25 years old. So I'm wanting to get some of this uh, comedy that I recorded from back in the day and back them up onto mp3 files so that way they'll be preserved and uh, yeah this this piece of equipment will do that so yeah I'm gonna again keep experimenting with it but that's the main purpose that I, I bought this thing was to save my cassettes because these things yeah they're I mean still in good shape but uh, yeah they're they're starting to show signs of age so uh, Awesome. So that's a good uh, a good test there. The old Hooters song. That's that uh, that was funny way back in the day. Yeah. Back in the '90s, of course, you know '80s and '90s, the shock jocks were you know, having a lot of fun. But now you're hard pressed to find any shock jocks on the regular radio these days because the FCC has pretty much put a stop to their uh, their I guess mayhem that they would cause. So. <laughs> But yeah, so there you go. If you're looking to save your cassettes like I am, uh, this is a good model that was recommended by another YouTuber. And then, of course, I just searched on eBay for it. Grace Digital Audio, tape to USB 2. They've got a tape to USB version 1. The only difference is it doesn't have the microphone here. But, uh, yeah, and as far as I know, I think these things are discontinued. I don't know why, but, yeah, um, something like this, you know, for my generation where we recorded a lot of stuff on cassettes you know it's good to try to preserve them and capture them to your computer and uh... so that's what i'm doing here or that's what i will be doing is using audacity to catch the mp3 files and uh... back them up so anyway there you go a quick uh... open box and test of my uh... grace tape to usb two cassette player and recorder as well and uh, to, and of course using Audacity to capture the audio and then I can convert it to an mp3 track later so um, yep and if you're looking for one yeah search eBay that's where they're at not many of them so you're, you may have to search around because these things are not made anymore so yeah, and there's a slew of my cassettes there that I dug out that I'll probably start going through over time to record the 
stuff that I want to keep. <laughs> so I got my work cut out for me.